Hello and welcome back. This is our English lesson for grade one high school. Our topic today is Earth Day. My name is Livia Privanic and I will be your teacher in this lesson. U današnjoj ćemo lekciji slušati izvorni tekst o onečišćenju okoliša. Kroz jednu zanimljivu aktivnost analizirat ćete vlastite navike i obrazce ponašanja, kratko ćete analizirati statističke podatke i napisat ćete izvješće. Kao i do sada, potrebna vam je bilježnica, pribor za pisanje, internetsku vezu imate, pa smo evo spremni krenuti. Let's start with Gandhi's quote. Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. Take your time, think about it. What are our needs? And are we really that greedy? Think about it. Earth is our home. This is where we all live. It gives us life, everything we need for life. Water, air, soil. Think about how we treat our home. Are we its owners or its partners? Think about all the news about pollution, environmental problems. Is it time for plan B? Our first activity is called Hear Me Out. You will watch the video. In this video, Mother Earth addresses us all. While watching, please answer two questions. Which types of pollution are mentioned? And what does Mother Earth expect us to do? Are you ready? Let's watch. Hello, people. Hello, my friends. Thank you for celebrating my day with me. Thank you for all your Get Well Soon cards. Thank you for thinking about me. Thank you a lot. It's nice to know there are so many well-intentioned people. But please don't think of me as being rude. I have a favor to ask. Could you please... Please stop wishing me well and do something about it. Could you, please? You all like my rivers, my lakes, my seas, my oceans. Kids like splashing in puddles. You, teenagers, can't wait for summer days to start swimming. And adults, they just adore fishing, sailing. But did you know that more than one billion people worldwide don't have access to safe drinking water? Did you know that 5,000 people die every day as a result of drinking polluted water? Around 14 billion pounds of waste is dumped in the oceans every year. Plastic is one of the main constituents. Have you ever considered how does all that waste end up in our water? Well, do it now. Or is this the goose you'd like to see in rivers? It's not just water that worries me. Look at these clouds. See how beautiful they are? So white and pure? But are they really pure? The air that you breathe is equally threatened. Did you know that 9 out of 10 people breathe polluted air? Did you know that air pollution kills 800 people every hour or 13 every minute? Would it be trendy to walk around wearing one of these? Think about this as well. How often do you use a bike instead of a car? Could you do it more often? Please, is flying the only option to get from point A to point B? Or is it just the most comfortable option? The most comfortable to whom? I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I want you to move, to take action. Make small steps. Do all that you can as an individual. 
Is it wise to throw away garbage wherever you feel like it? Is it wise not to separate your household garbage? Do you leave the water running when you brush your teeth? Do you turn on a half-empty dishwasher? These are the small steps, you see. Your small steps, but they would mean a lot to me. If you protect the air, you protect my lungs. And when my lungs are safe and protected, you breathe more easily. It makes me angry to see my forests cut down. It hurts my soul to see dried out rivers. Do you think it is possible to live without these? Do you? Wake up, people. Wake up, my friends. Hello, people. Let's answer the two questions. Which two types of pollution are mentioned in the video? Water pollution and air pollution. And what does Mother Earth want us to do? She wants us to make small steps. Now it's time for a more detailed listening. Please copy the link into your browser. Be very careful of the spelling because capital letters are important. This link will take you to a quiz. There are five questions in the quiz. This is the front page of the quiz. The questions are listed on your right side and on your left side, you have a bar here. When you press the button, the recording starts. So you can listen again to the whole text and answer the question. When you answer the question five, there is the button submit. After you press the button submit, you will be asked to write in your name, your email and your teacher's email so you can send the answers to your teacher. Good luck with this activity. You remember from the video that Mother Earth asked us to make small steps. So let's make small steps. Do you know what carbon footprint is? The term refers to the total greenhouse gas emissions. All the gases that are harmful to our atmosphere. So these harmful gases come from all around us. It is not only the industries and the traffic that make carbon footprint. Emissions are also produced in agriculture and in food production. Our habits define the level of carbon emission, how often we eat meat, for example, or how often do we use public transportation. We should all try very hard to reduce the amount of carbon emission. Very hard. So let's see what can each of us do. Let's use carbon emissions calculator. This is a very simple tool. You will be asked to answer questions divided into three categories, household, transportation, and food. Here is the bit.ly the link that will take you to the calculator. Please answer all the questions. Also, be careful, you have to scroll down on each of the page because the questions are also lower on the page. And once you answer all the question, it's time to analyze the data. When you provide all the answers, this is the last page you will see analysis. There will be two pies and charts to analyze. So in the blank part here, your pie will appear. Good luck and be honest in your answers. You will use your answers to analyze 
pie charts. So this here is a pie chart, an example where different parts create a whole. In this example here, blue colored segment is for transportation, yellow color segment is for household, and green colored segment is for food. You will compare two pies, your personal ones and the average one, which is valid for the USA. Here are some useful expressions that you might use to compare, also compared to, more than and less than. Please be very careful of the spelling of the word than. In your writing, you will write three paragraphs following three steps. Step one will be your introduction. This is where you will explain the type of chart. In this case, it is a pie chart, and you will write what they are describing, so what each of the pies represents. In step two, you will write the body of your report in which you will compare the data. You can use the useful expressions mentioned on the previous slide. Please start with the biggest segment. And in step three, which will be the conclusion of your report, please provide examples of small steps and remedies. Please write at least three examples of what you as a person can do in order to reduce the carbon footprint. Here is grammar tip for you. In the conclusion in which you will write your remedies or your suggestions on how you as an individual can help the environment, use the following constructions. I'm going to, I'm planning to, or I hope to, in order to express your future intentions and plans. And finally, here is a checklist to help you complete your writing task. Once you finish, go through the checklist and see if you have it all covered. Don't forget to attach carbon footprint pies. You can make a simple screenshot of the pies and send it to your teacher together with your writing. It will be easier for your teacher to read through the comparisons uh, you covered in your report. Uh, divide your writing into three visible paragraphs, introduction, body, and conclusion. These three parts need to be clearly separated. Also check if you have um, provided three examples in the conclusion, at least three examples. Check your spelling, check your grammar, don't forget which tense you will use when describing your future intentions and plans. Good luck with writing. And the last activity is for you to have a bit more fun. Check this web page, Earth Day. We celebrate Earth Day in virtual world this year. Maybe there is an activity that you can also do on this day apart from writing. Log on the web page, flip through the activities offered, and register your own. Don't forget, small steps count. I hope you had fun in this lesson. Enjoy the rest of the day. Stay home, stay safe. Bye, everybody.